there, there are simulators for for pilots there are simulators for for games but simulators for uh, feelings it's music welcome to humans behind art Today's guest is Rafaelos Christofi, and he's the creator behind the Cap Tel Aviv original production in the Red House. We'll make a deep dive into this creation, but let's start by getting to know Rafaelos a little bit better first. Hello everybody, I'm uh, Rafaelos Christofi, I'm from uh, Nicosia, in, uh, from Cyprus. And um, I'm a composer, film scorer, and sound engineer. How did you end up being all of those things? What was your path towards becoming the artist that you are today? I saw I saw a presentation of the of the music school of Nicosia, my city, the music high school, let's say. And uh, when I saw that, I trained for classical guitar for one year, and then I I did my exams and I joined the musical uh, musical school. Somehow, I I I got in. I don't I don't understand how. I, I think it was one day. I just heard something in my head, and I started to write it down, and that was it. I started uh, writing and. Um, figuring out the bit how, I mean, how something that you hear makes you feel, and how and how it dri drives people. Why, why this song my father puts uh, like in, in 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 gatherings and makes you feel that way, and this kind of stuff. Well, as I was going, I was falling in love a little bit more with also film music. Uh, and I got in. I got in touch with a with a, 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 um, a teacher in the music school that he was teaching me uh, improvisation in the second year of, uh, of 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 my studies there. And this guy was uh, Tasso Stilianu, my 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 mentor, my first composition teacher. I got in touch with him, and he told me that he teaches composition, and whenever I want, I can go there. He introduced me into a Fibonacci numbering system for composing. <laughs> That's a topic to start. <laughs> wow. It was so bold, but then um, he, I, f I fell in love with it. It was, uh, it was so eye-opening, working hard every day, hearing and writing, and then hearing something and trying to find the way to write it. And uh and seeing something and trying to find a way of how it will sound or or why it sounds like that or having an image or a or, or an emotion or a feeling and okay how do i picture this with with notes i mean how how do i play it to somebody yeah and then i started my studies uh, here at kodat and in in the process i I, I took my turn, let's say, composition-wise. I'm, I'm, I'm more inspired to write by by an image or a story. It's a, generally, a story. Like like the ninety nine percent of music that I write, it's a it's a story. So it has a very visual component already to it when you're writing the music. Yeah. Nice. That's why film scoring just came on its own and just fixed. There are simulators for, for pilots, there are simulators for, for games, but simulators for uh, feelings, it's music. Thank you. 
You just saw an excerpt of the piece in the Red House. And if you haven't seen the full video yet, I highly recommend you to go and watch it. We are about to make a deep dive into the music of this piece. So if you have good headphones, go get them. One last thing before we start, and that is a big thank you to all of our supporters on Patreon. Thanks to those supporters, we can grow and bring you new exciting content every week. If you enjoy the work that we do for yourself and for the arts community, then head over there and secure yourself special behind the scenes content and also get access to the full one hour long interview and conversation that I had with Rafaelos, uh, with a lot of interesting insights that we sadly had to leave out from this video for time reasons. Enough said. Headphones on and let's talk in the Red House. So I would love to talk a little bit about that piece and um, just first in general, what was your idea for, for the creation of this piece? I mean, you say you always start with a, with a story or somewhat that comes to you. How was it for this piece? Generally, uh, for my pieces, uh, it's, it's two goals to learn something and do something that I didn't do before and uh, tell a story so for this piece i the, the learning uh, goal of it, it was to learn how to work good with with analog and and digital synthesizers and learn good about uh, digital about um, ele electronic synthesis in uh, electronic synthesis there is no samples there is no something that it's just a pure signal and depending how, how you work it what sound you get so all the sounds that you hear in the piece they come like from the same basis but it's how i cooked it how you hear it and i made a couple of uh, a couple of sounds a couple of uh, material and then um, then I, like, then I, I heard them and heard them again, twitched them here, twitched them there. And I, I, started, I started putting them together, how, how I felt good and good in my head, what I wanted to hear out of it. And then the, the, the story came out of, uh, of, like of a red house, of a, of a psychosis, of a, of a struggle, of, a, of, an, of an anxiety, of, of wanting to do something, go out, escape somehow for myself i structured the song into six different parts and um, i would like to listen to a few of those together with you and just to hear as well okay what was your thoughts and as well to tell you okay what were the things that popped up in me while listening to those parts sure yeah and uh, to dissect it a little bit as well because i think it's very interesting so this would be the Part that I called part one. <laughs> so let's listen. It's the beginning of the song. I hope you can hear it. I mean, it starts very soft.
So this would be the first part. This first segment for me is really okay. It creates um, really the space. It creates the. It tells me okay, this is the the surrounding I am in, and uh, is this spooky atmosphere and is building tension, and it feels very, very unfamiliar, very strange, very, very uncomfortable uh, in moments as well. And then there comes this build up and the collapse, and it's. It's very much this weird space and I don't know exactly where I am, but I'm I'm a bit afraid of it. But at the same time, it, okay, let's let's discover something. Um, so that is for me what I hear there a lot. Now, um, what did you have in mind? And you already said, okay, you, the sounds are created just through modulation and um, working a sine wave <laughs> in different ways. So how does this work how did all of this share with us for me this part is like it starts with with the deep subconscious something something hidden but it's there and you know it and like if you if you if you if you notice like little by little the sound goes into higher frequencies to more clear frequencies and and and, and it comes even more clear and more clear and more clear but you know like when when you get when you get an idea or, or you're anxious about something for your day to go forward you do like and uh, and, and you're in the yeah so that happens in the, in the music at some point you you go you go like very smoothly out of it and you hear city sounds something familiar for your brain to be dis distracted but when you come home you have this you don't hear anything you don't feel anything so you have that build up and you punch out so that build up is the, like the emotional build up and the punch out is where you're in the zone and you can't escape so you see everything beautiful um now we're gonna listen to what i described part two and um for me there what you started to describe right now is something more familiar really started to come across and I started to go into my own memories and I I was very much invested into the piece at this moment already and was subconsciously creating images and finding familiarities as well and um, stuff that I saw, stuff that I experienced, stuff I felt and for me at some point it really reminded me now the second part we're gonna listen to it in a second of um those dystopian worlds that are in blade runner like it really had this familiar feel of okay i know the blade runner universe and it kind of felt like i'm back in that world again which was really interesting so let's listen to it what do you think <laughs> well I, I already talked what what i feel about it and um for me in, in contrast to the first part i felt much more familiar with the second part i felt like i said the the first part felt uncomfortable and spooky now the second one was there is still this dystopia and this alienation of the space uh, around me somehow 
but it's not something that is directly a threat to me. It is something like, okay, yes, it is like this, but um, I am somewhat, there is something familiar in it. I, I don't feel like I'm a, in a place that I need to be afraid anymore. It's like, it's hard to describe it in words, but it's a, it's a very interesting journey that kind of the song started to go with this. And um, for me, it had a very different color as well through this than the first one, like this punch out as you described it, it really brought me into, into a different world. And uh, that's something that happens for me at the end of the third part uh, that we talk about in a moment um, as well. There was, well, before uh, going yeah. further, let, let, let you talk it's, a little this bit. Part, yeah, this part was supposed to be fami like somehow familiar mm -hmm. and, 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 and tasteful and, and pretty because um, uh, your, your demons are always beautiful. Yeah. Your demons are always attracting and uh, your, your demons always say the right things and so this is after the, the punch out there so you're already in the phase you're already in the world and uh, so and then and, and, the, and this 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 trembling melody starts but it's a, a recording of a of a boat monocord mm -hmm. and and then the the, the electronic sounds comes in but it the the electronic sound it's clean so technically what i'm doing uh, with the with, with with this with this segment with this part because i mean electronic composition it's i mean general composition it's not only like putting one sound after the other here because it, each each set of frequencies or each frequency hits has the ability to hit somewhere on your body so I don't know if you, if you felt it, but here that electronic sound keeps you focused and clean in here and, and, and concentrated. And that monochord sound, that is the acoustic sound, hits you here in the chest. Like, I'm gonna keep your focus, okay? But I'm gonna drive you with this. And first, the, the, the real, the acoustic, the touchy, the material feeling that is the monochord, it's here. And then little by little, the, the digital sound takes over and, and it gets you more, a more focused way. And like you can picture the, the acoustic, uh, that, that acoustic sound, that electronic sound as two different like demons next to you. But they are super familiar to you because they have your face. And, <laughs> And, and, and they drive you in and that monochord sound goes in the very, very background, like somewhere behind, and you're going forward. And there are other two small uh, demons that they're there. Uh, this time, let's say it's a, it's a more gently uh, version of you and they, and they dance around you and, and they bring you and bring you and bring you. But you're drunk, you're, uh, you're in, in an illusion. Yeah. And then you see from the background uh, the, that rhythmic structure that, it, that it's a more it's a more reality. Like you start like seeing a bit in the horizon. But when we go now to to part three, you go to that horizon, but you're somewhere back again. You know, it's only a circle. That's a, that's a, actually why we we also had the idea to build the circle when we were filming. We, we, we talk about that afterwards, but, but that's super interesting already. Um, you started to mention part three, so let's, uh, let's listen to it for a moment so that everybody knows what we're talking about.
in the third part. Now for me, the, this third part was somehow a combination of the experience I had in the first part with what I had in the second part. There, those things were very much coming together for me. And then in the end, I felt like I'm being teleported somewhere else again for the fourth part. Yep. Pretty much actually, exactly that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's, it's um, in, the, in the first part, you have reality with buried subconscious. In the second part, you have the subconscious, but with no reality. So in the third part, you have them together, your demons are dancing around you. They are that those different personalities or different people that are wear your face that are dancing around you. And they have this ritual kind of feeling. Yeah. Uh, and also there is a lot of chaos around you, but you don't really notice that there's a lot of chaos around you because I, I use this technique with with a, with a repeated uh, rhythmical loop because it's something super familiar in the in the ears of, of, of a person all all tribes or civilizations have it this like something repeated rhythmically so you you're drawn by it you listen to it and you don't really pay focus of the chaos that is going around you and also guys if you listen with headphones or with good speakers you also hear yes. that around you yes and um and uh, yeah, I mean, technically, what I did, uh, what I did there was was to take all of these acoustic and electronic sounds and and play with uh, with the LFO. Okay, what the LFO is? It's a, it's the low frequency oscillator. It's it's a it's a modulate it's a modulation in how you choose to modulate. Like if it's on the pitch, the pitch will go up and down. If it's on the on the volume, the volume will go up and down. So I, 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 I control it and I play with it to, to I mean, generally the, the parameters that you have when, when composing, it's melody, it's tempo, it's harmony, it's rhythm. Uh, and for me, the LFO, it's, a, it's a, another parameter that is not that easy to use in, in acoustic uh, music, it's not that distinguishable. So, I'm using the, this parameter to create all these structures with sounds that I already have to keep that familiarity. And uh, and in the end, it's a it's a simple technique that that I that I like to do all the time. This that you are teleported. <laughs> that you are using. It's basically a spread of the notes slash frequencies to up and low to have the the feeling that that there is an army in front of you that that you're surrounded and think of a, a jump cut yeah, like exactly uh, like you're in the middle of an army and then cut and you're alone in your room for example yeah. like you were watching a nightmare or something it's I exactly use, how it lot. feels it's it's really this like you're being <laughs> sucked out of something and suddenly you're somewhere else for example in in my in my piano piece another home then because it, it was originally created as a as a alternative soundtrack for the movie Interstellar. Okay. There, there is a there is a point that there is there is a, a lot of tension, and then I go directly up, like in in, in a high range. And you get that feeling that you go up and you're and you're left out somewhere, and I, and I, and, I, and I use that to picture the the rocket going up from the atmosphere. And that peaceful moment. Uh, I, I, I use that a lot. I mean, not, I didn't, I don't think that okay, I'm going to use that, but it comes out intuitively. Well, it's and, a very uh, powerful I, I tool. I like it. It's a peaceful moment during yeah. all this process. Nice. Beautiful. Um, now coming to the fourth part, for me, like it's a new discovery of this, this new space um and it brought me very much into memories and the experiences i had my past um, and it um, feels all very familiar but at the same time it's very distorted and very alien yeah. and uh, it's it's a weird it's a weird experience let's listen to by, it by the way yeah for you to understand how close you are 
the, the 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 next part one of the one of the sounds that we that we that we hear one of the sounds that I created because when I create a, when I create a sound color or a sound I always give it a name for mm -hmm. to find it it's called alien talk <laughs> <laughs> wow yeah well let's listen to it and uh, let's see how how other people would call it if they if they hear it as well and how their experience is I'm very curious. The alien. <laughs> well, um, the 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 main the main let's say sound actually that we hear in this um, fragment, it's called a river organ. And how I how I created this sound, I I I, I took a recording of double basses mm -hmm. that have this huge and rich uh, uh, harmonic resonance. And um, I, I, I I put some some calculated reverb on them. Reverb is the is, is the parameter that sets the sound in a, in a in a physical place. Like it's like you recorded a double bass in a, in the middle of a of a huge hall. Let's say. And I recorded only the reverb, not the actual transient, not the actual attack of the double bass, but only the reverb. And after a, a lot of mixing and twisting and designing of that sound, I sampled it in, 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 my, in my keyboard. So I treated it as, a, as an actual instrument, as an actual like acoustic instrument that you can play. And I, and I, and I, and I performed like the, the, whole, the whole line. Like I, I, I read it, I written it down and I played it the whole line, but using this song. And um, I mean, it's it's an it's it's a process of the of the of the of the previous of the previous part. It's a it's a linear process, but it's not linear. I mean, it's um, it, it's still a a a a, a, a phase, a, 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 a line that 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 you get in this figuring out process with your, with your demons and, 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 and psychosis. Yeah, it's like you're, you're arriving somewhere and you have to get used to the new you, the new space, your new environment. Um, now, next is part five and uh, I don't want to talk too much first, but just, just listen to it to give you guys listening as well the opportunity to come up with your own imaginary insight without being already influenced through the two of us. Let's go.
Now, I would actually suggest to already play part number six as well, because for me, the two are very much going hand in hand. Okay. And they're very much one in a way, okay. but different. So I'd like to just play part six as well and then talk about the two of them in connection. Sure, sure. Beautiful. Um, so for me, the, the, those two last parts really go so much hand in hand. Okay, stop. Instead of me blurting out everything that I felt and thought for the next minute again, we'd love to hear how you experienced this music. Go to the comment section and write down all the feelings, thoughts and emotions that this music provoked in you. Now, if you want to know what I had to say, then head over to Patreon and listen to the full one hour long interview. There we will also make a deeper dive into the creation of the video of In the Red House. So that's very interesting as well. Now, pause this video, go to the comment section, write down your thoughts and emotions and we'll resume with the regular scheduling in um, so how is it uh, from your side? How what did you do to cause all this roller coaster in me? <laughs> well, as I, as I said before, it, it's a circle. So yes. if if you if you're releasing of it, the the mood and the feeling that I that the that this piece puts you in the end mm -hmm. is exactly the same as in the beginning, yeah. but a little bit different. Yes, because every day you're a little bit different than yesterday. So. This is a one-day process. So it's, it's, it's the beginning. We went all of this route and we came here and you start again the new day, a little bit different. So um, uh, the, the, thought, the thought of it was, was this. I mean, except of the, of, of the music box, all the sounds you, you had them before, it's like, it's like a rendering. You, you, you processed everything, you went out of it, but you're not really out of it because the only person in this story is you, so you don't go out of it. And and you and you came to this finalized version of the day, and you're ready to start again. So it, in the end, when you press play again, it makes sense. Yeah. But I mean, it will sound like the previous day, but if you take the first like a bit of the of, of the beginning out, and you put a bit of the beginning, uh, a bit of the end in. It will make totally sense. And let's start again. Technically, how I did it, it's uh, I I, I use the strings and and a, and a sample of a music box. That uh, I don't know. Uh, that is maybe maybe it's because of uh, uh, that it, it was used this instrument in the lot in 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 horror movie soundtracks. There's something creepy about <laughs> about mist and and Chinese try trying the toys <laughs> i don't understand why but uh, somehow it's in our pop culture let's say it's in our heads that 
when you hear this this sound it's about the child that's yeah it. that's true and yeah and, and and thinking that you're a child makes you more pure and without control and more uh, naive and honest naive and um so that's why and that's why i used it and uh, and the strings it and the strings and the synthesizer the digital sounds is more of a of a reminder that no no you're not a check <laughs> you're here yes <laughs> so um and i mean uh, there are there are not a, a lot of let's say like contemporary electronic or like contemporary music concrete composers that they will tell you that I mean you it, it, it sounds a bit cheesy let's say the music box but I mean I don't care I mean it was put to serve a purpose yeah and it serves that purpose yes so even even if I recorded my feet clapping or whatever I'm gonna put it if it serves a specific purpose when it was a this was a this is a value that a, my first composition teacher does us like put in my head that uh, do whatever put whatever but have a reason for everything that you put in, in your piece i want like he was to spend a lot of time pointing at something on, on my score and ask me why and wouldn't stop until he got a, a sufficient satisfying answer <laughs> why nice why that's also the question that we want to finish on today why are we doing this? Capta la vie. Because we believe art and the reflection about art is important. Not just for artists, but for all areas of life. We want to build a community of artists, for artists, and for everyone whose life would just be that much more colorful with a bit of art inside of it. You can support us in this mission and become a part of this community by liking, sharing, and commenting on our videos. If you enjoy the vision and if you can identify with it of what we do, then become one of our patrons and join the conversation there. More information about that directly on our website or on Patreon itself. Links to both of those are in the video description. Enjoy the rest of your day and see you soon. We come out with new art videos every Friday and new interviews every Sunday.